Hi guys, it's Addie Smith here with Coach Chase Brooks, and we're doing a pregame show for their game against George Mason on November 8th, 2013. So, Coach Brooks, it's an intense game tomorrow night. George Mason's at the top of the conference. How did you guys prepare for it? A tough week of training, making sure that the competition level's high, make sure the guys understand a little bit what George Mason's going to throw at us. Uh, they're a hard-working team. They're at the top of the conference for a reason. Uh, they're going to put us under pressure, and we've got to be ready for it. I know a lot of their recruits are from the Northern Virginia area, and Northern Virginia does have a strong soccer program. So how did you guys prepare for those types of players? You know, again, players are players. I think it's, it's just about who on the day wants it more. And, you know, for us being senior night, um, being in the position we're in, I think it's a good night for us. It is senior night, and even though you've already only had a year with these seniors, what's your feelings towards them? Uh, it's a good group of guys. It's a hard-working group of guys. Um, they've really been the, uh, the kind of the backbone to what we've been trying to do this season, guys that uh, you know doing things right on and off the field and showing the other guys how it's supposed to be done. So this is a big weekend. If you guys pick up a couple wins, you'll probably make it into the tournament. Do you know all of the scenarios off the top of your head or a couple? Can you explain those to us? Yeah, there's a couple different scenarios. I don't know them all, unfortunately, but um, I do know this. Uh, we win two, we're definitely in, and that's obviously our goal is to step out and, and win two games. Um, you know, when you start getting into the habit of, of looking at, well, if we win one and drop one or win one and tie one, you know, that leaves too many unknowns. So our focus is definitely to win two. Um, there's like a very slim chance if we don't win either, we could still get in. But, but again, why leave it to chance when we can go out and at home in front of our crowd take care of our business? Is there like a specific scenario where if you pick up one point in a tie that you guys will make it in? Yeah, there's a couple scenarios like that. Again, we just got to look at the tiebreakers at the end of the day. But, um, but again, we're focused on winning two games and, and taking it to George Mason and VCU, who, again, you're talking about the you know, team that's tied for the top in the conference and the team that's third in the conference and two extremely good teams. And then you guys did play Rhode Island this past weekend and picked up a victory. What did you take away from that win that will help you this weekend? Well, I think that that game was about set pieces. You know, we scored two goals off of set pieces and, and, and took care of business. We responded well when, when Rhode Island got a goal late in the game to cut it to two to one, responded right away. Um, so, again, it's just about showing, showing the team and, and the guys believing in the fact that we can win any game that we step out to, um, take advantage of our chances, and, and be, we'll be right there with any team. All right, and stick around for some interviews with the seniors of the Duquesne men's soccer team. All right, guys, it's Addie Smith here with senior forward Simon Gomez. Simon, I know that throughout your time at Duquesne, you've been plagued with injuries. Uh, so what's it like going into senior night tomorrow night? Um, it's kind of a bittersweet feeling. It's actually very bitter. It sucks because um, it's the last time that you're going to be playing, at least on the home field. There's two games left. And then it just hits you and you go like, wow, it's already been four years. It's crazy. I will never be playing in front of the crowd again. So it's kind of like a reality check. And what did you think about your four years at Duquesne? What did you take away from them? Um, I love them. They're great. I met a whole bunch of um, great people, learned a lot as a person. Um, I love the sport, so it was great. Um, I had my downs, a lot of injuries, very frustrating. But I always had teammates to support me and help me through it. So it was very... Very great experience. And then, since it is senior night tomorrow night, can you tell us about your favorite Duquesne soccer memory? Man, favorite Duquesne soccer memory. I think it was um, last year's senior night because I came a semester early. I came in the spring. And that's the kind of group of people who I associated most with. And when I was able to see my um, close friends walk up with their parents and have that, like, excitement for that senior night that to me was like one of our favorite games and I really enjoyed it a lot and I know that Adam and Josh uh, were drafted in the supplemental draft do you kind of want to follow in their footsteps or kind of do your own thing um, we will see if I get the opportunity uh, I would try obviously I would never pass that chance I still have to uh, work hard hopefully I can stay can stay healthy so I'll just have to see how everything kind of goes from now. And to cap it all off, what is the thing that brought you to Duquesne and chose this soccer program? Oh, well, it was close to home, actually. It was a great Division One program. It had the major I wanted to do, and it was close to Toronto, where I live now, so it was one of the best options for both academics, athletics, and location.
Perfect. Thank you, Simon. No problem. All right, guys. Addy Smith here with Ramsey Hartley, a uh, defenseman for the Duquesne men's soccer team. Ramsey, what was your favorite Duquesne soccer memory? My favorite Duquesne soccer memory has got to be the A-10 championships last year. The fact that we haven't made it in quite a few years, and actually getting to go back there and play one of the best teams in the nation was a great experience. Were you on the edge of your seat during that game? I didn't even make it to Charlotte, but I was watching it through the stream, and I was freaking out the entire time. When that penalty kick happened, I was, like, having an anxiety attack for you guys. What was your re reaction throughout the entire game? My reaction was that I couldn't feel my feet, first off. It was freezing. And then, you know, yeah, the, gra the game was really exciting, especially I, I don't know how to explain the emotions I was feeling when that penalty when the call happened for the penalty kick it was just it was unbelievable and I felt more grief for the seniors at that point because they worked so hard to get that point and we all worked really hard to get that point and to have their career end like that is is just sad really and what are your emotions going into senior night um it's like as Simon said it's bittersweet you know the chance to come here to Duquesne to play the sport that I love and for it to be one of the last games at home front of a great crowd it'll be sad to begin with but I think at the end it'll it'll be kind of a closing moment for me and my career and get ready to move on with my life and what is it that brought you to the Duquesne men's soccer program somehow it was the coach our last coach Jake we met he was a great guy on the field great guy uh, off the field and you know his his excitement for the game brought me here and I really like that, and I like the guys as, as, you know, we're definitely a family here. It's a great, tight group of guys, and that's really what brought me to the game. All right, thanks, Ramsey. Patty Smith here with uh, midfielder Bobby Sutcliffe. Bobby, what is it that brought you to the Duquesne men's soccer program? Um, I'm going to have to say the team. Uh, when, when I went on my official visit, came in, everyone's like a giant family here. They bring you in, and you just feel a part of something, and that's why I came here. And then do you have a favorite Duquesne men's soccer memory? Uh, probably going to California with a team. It's funny because we just got these vans. There were three vans, and all of a sudden we just saw an ocean, and we just – our coach was, like, a little nutty, and we got out and started going in the water. It's funny. Were you one of the people who actually took the plunge into the Pacific Ocean? Yeah. I think there was a video of it somewhere. Uh, actually, didn't you guys do that? Jay did, uh, Jay did it. That's right. Yeah, yeah I was in that. <laughs> um, so, do you have like any emotions going into senior night? Uh, yeah, I mean it's bittersweet. I mean, uh, play soccer since you're like five years old, and then now it's coming to an end. It's kind of, but at the same time, you feel good and accomplished to make it the four years. I mean, if you look at our class, there's only three people here. Started out with a couple more than that, so it's good to make it through. All right. Thanks, Bobby, and be sure to We're good to go. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Hi, it's Addie Smith, and I'm here with Sasha Miskovitz. Did I say that correctly? Miskovitz. <laughs> and he is a goaltender for the Duquesne men's soccer team. So, Sha Sasha, what is it that brought you to Duquesne? Um, I had a couple choices for where I wanted to go to school, and basically... When I came to Duquesne, I fell in love with the school. I, th I thought it was just a beautiful campus, um, really nice people. Um, and the fact that they had nursing just kind of put it all together. And, yeah, it was a Division One program, which is what I wanted to get into, and a fantastic school. So. And do you have a favorite Duquesne soccer memory that you can tell us? Um, there's a good amount of memories, I guess. But considering I only played three games, um, it would have to be the first game that I started. Um, it was against Buffalo, winning 2 nothing, getting the shutout was pretty huge. But also, um, just through all the injuries that I've had, I think it's been really special how many guys have, you know, approached me and helped me out. I mean, this team is like my family. So it's been an amazing experience all around. And you said this team is like your family. So what is your mindset going into senior night? Um, <laughs> it was funny. I was sitting down with the guys the other day. And I was like, so guys, I only get to play 20 seconds because I'm still rehabbing from an injury. Um, so I figure we'll just hug it all out when we're done, you know. Um, and they all laughed. Uh, but, 
I mean, it's. It, I'm happy about it. I'm proud of the guys and everything that they've accomplished. You know, our season has been really good so far. You know, a couple losses and a good amount of wins and all that. Um, so I'm just impressed. I'm proud of the guys. I'm proud how much the guys are really working hard and such. And Yeah. All right. Thanks, Sasha. And be sure to tune in this Sunday when we have a post-game recap from their game against VCU.